Hey guys, thanks for stopping by again for another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to get and install Microsoft Office Picture Manager. First of all, I'd like to give credit where credit is due and say that I did get this from the askvg.com online, so thank you to them for this information and any and all links that I give you today will I will put down in the description section. So let's get started. Um, First of all, um, he says here, or they say here, if you have Office 2010, 2007, or 2003, um, you can run your disk, go into the setup, and then choose Customize. If you don't have your disk, which I didn't have, um, then you're going to come down, you're going to go to this page right here, um, which is you're going to be downloading Microsoft Office SharePoint Designer front page for free. Um, so you scroll down here, you pick which one um, you're going to have. I am I'm using Windows 7 64-bit, so I am downloading the 64-bit version. You can download either 32 or 64, whatever one you need. Okay, so once you're done with that, okay, um, thing right here, Microsoft um, SharePoint Designer 2010. Um, now we're going to click on Customize here. Okay, um, under SharePoint Designer, we're going to say not available. Um, Office Shared Features, we're going to say not available. And then under Office Tools, we're going to click the little plus sign next to Office Tools. Okay, so now under Office Tools, the only one that you're going to select is the Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Going to click the little drop down here, say run from my computer. Okay, um, just to double check, it does say run from my computer. The rest of these, you're going to select not available. Okay, so just for each one, just go down here and just put red X's on all these. Okay, now if you're using a disk version, I believe it's going to show more things underneath here besides just these. So you're going to have to select each one, like I'm doing here, and saying not available. Okay, um, so let me just finish this here. not available okay so now as you can see the only one we have here we're gonna run it from the computer everything else is X red X okay um, and you don't have to go under these pluses honestly because once you X out the this the top it's kinda like a top menu so if you exit out here it's gonna X all the ones underneath it kinda like subfolders okay um, once that's done, you're going to say install now. It's going to install Microsoft Office Picture Manager, which again is a wonderful piece of software. I don't know why they took it out, um, but this is such a great option to be able to get it for free and still be able to use it. Because like I said, I was trying to edit some photos and obviously because I went to go find the program and it no longer existed in Office 2013 so um, okay guys when you're done with that you're gonna get a, a box that comes up at the end there you're just gonna go ahead and click on close I had it here but um, I already closed out of that so once it shows you the close just go ahead and close out of that um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to start here you're going to go to all programs and then now you can see I have 2013 but it's going to create another one that just says Microsoft Office go ahead and click on that um, go under tools and you're going to click uh, Microsoft Office Picture Manager there you go go into the program and you can start editing photos again alright well thank you for dropping by guys um, appreciate it I hope you liked the video and I will talk to you later